Hey guys, so this video is just going to be some random tips and just little things that I wanted to share with you guys and in the hopes that it just may help you. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in here and share a few little things that I do and try not to make it a really long boring video but also try to make it educational and hope that it will help you. So first off I'm going to tell I do this trick all the time and I think I've even tweeted about it. Um, if you polish your nails and you're waiting and waiting and waiting, you've got to run out the door, but they're still sticky and tacky. If you'll run to the bathroom and run cold water over your fingertips for a minute or so, it will dry them and harden them right up and you can leave. It works every time. I do this all the time. Even if I don't have to leave and they really don't seem to be drying fast enough for me, I will do this and it really, really does work. Okay, next up. Oh, your lips. Always make sure you have a nice smooth canvas on your lips to work with. Uh, you know, it's that time of year. We all got dry chopped lips and it's all icky. It's just either you use the one you use daily or use an old one or a different one, whatever. But just after you get done brushing your teeth, take a toothbrush and just scrub your lips. I'm not talking about scrub them until they bleed. But... <laughs> But just kind of scrub over them a little bit and get all that loose skin gone and then put a lip balm on and then let that be soaking in while you're doing everything else. And then by the time you get ready to put your lipstick on, your lips will be smooth, moisturized, and ready to go. Alright, next up. Um, do 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 me with the mascara. Uh, we all know that we do some crazy angles when we're putting our mascara on and... When I'm doing my lower lashes, I'm doing like this, and I'm always looking up. So my advice is always do your lower lashes first, because if you don't, uh, your upper layer is going to be wet, and you're going to look up to your lower ones, then you've got mascara all over your eye. So anyway, that's just how I do it. <laughs> oh, and blush and bronzer. If you've realized, uh, you've looked in the mirror and you've realized you've put on too much blush, too much bronzer, it's looking crazy, um, take just a little bit of foundation, a uh, liquid foundation or powder, whichever you use, and put some on a foundation brush, and then just um, lightly blend that in a little bit, and then you'll actually, it'll look really, really nice, and it'll look like you're kind of like glowing from within, and it'll tone down that bronzer or blush just a little bit for you. Let's see. Okay. I have a lot of friends that are dealing with dieting um, as New Year's resolution or just as something they're wanting to do for themselves. And I, ha I do have a few tips on that. One, and most importantly, don't set unrealistic goals for yourself. Um, don't get it drilled into your head or... You know, I have to lose 50 pounds. I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Start small. Set small goals for yourself. Set a five pound goal. And then when you reach that goal, you'll be elated. You're going to be happy. And you're, you know, it's not like uh, if you set a 50 pound goal and you haven't gotten there yet, you're all depressed, you're disgusted. No, don't do that. Set small goals and do a little bit at a time because then it, it just makes you feel so much better about yourself. And another thing I found when I went through my dieting thing, um, they want you to weigh yourself religiously. Don't do that. Do not do that. Uh, some people weigh every day. Some people weigh every week. No. I found that I just don't do that because if you weigh daily, you don't see the progress. I weighed once a month when I went to the doctor. And that's it. And then you get a bigger number. I found out, well, I've lost 12 pounds. I've lost 14 pounds. And that's really, really exciting as to versus if you weigh yourself daily and it's the same or it's a half a pound. I mean, there's a big emotional task in the weight loss. And the happier you feel about the progress you've made, the more progress you're going to make. Does that make sense? All right. Then, let's see. Oh, yeah. Another thing that helps with your weight loss journey, always have someone that is supportive. Someone you feel like you can talk to about anything, even the most embarrassing things. Um, a good support system is very, very, very important. Um, even if it's just one person you feel you can confide in 
and that you know you're going to get support from. And that always really, really helps. You don't want nobody that's going to be discouraging or or come off with shit like, well, I knew you couldn't do it. You, you know, stuff like that. You want somebody that's going to encourage you and that's going to be there for you. So make sure you ha try to have that person in your life. Believe me, it makes an enormous difference. And... <clears throat> Okay, I got two more things. The la um, this one is always set aside a little bit of you time once a week, you know, even if it's just an hour, and use this time to do the extra beauty things you don't normally do. Um, do a hair treatment. Um, do a face mask. Do a nice hot soak in the bubble bath you know just set aside that special little time for you once a week and as we all have crazy hectic lives and there they just don't seem to ever be enough time especially for ourselves so make it a point to make it a point and set that time to the side for yourself and lastly I most certainly want to end the video with this because I find it extremely extremely important you know, I've gotten a lot of rude-ass comments and messages that focus on my flaws. Um, I don't even want to get into the details, but I've gotten some pretty ugly ones publicly and in inbox, you know, and it's just whatever, you know. I just want to tell you guys, when you leave those nasty-ass comments and rude and you know, whatever, you're just showing what an idiot you are, but the one thing I do want to say is turn around and look at yourself because there's got to be something wrong with you to be trying to knock me down. That's just the way I look at it. Um, it give me a break. Really? I mean, there's no need in being rude. And if you're perfect, Awesome, cool, you got it going on. But let me tell you something, you're not. None of us are. So just get over yourself and stop being so damn nasty. So, okay. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope some of these little tips and tricks will help you. And if you have any questions or comments, definitely, certainly drop them in the box. And if there are more personal questions or comment, especially about the weight loss tips and what have you, inbox me. I will gladly talk to you, um, and I'll be your support group if you need one. I mean, I'll, I've been there, I've done that, and I know what you're dealing with, but you can do it. You really, really can. Alright, guys, so if you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you did. And again, if you have questions or comments, drop them in the box or inbox me. And you can always catch me on Twitter at Peanuts39, P-N-U-T-Z. And you guys have a great, great evening, and thanks so much for watching. And thank you all so much for your support. Bye.